in those days caesar augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire roman world and everyone went to his own town to register So Joseph also went up from Nazareth to Bethlehem the town of David because he belonged to the house of David he went with Mary who was betrothed to him and was expecting a child while they were there the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to a son she wrapped him and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night an angel of the lord appeared to them and the glory of the lord shone round them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid i bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people today in the town of david a savior has been born to you he is christ the lord a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising god and saying glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests so they hurried off and found mary and joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger 
when they had seen him they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them Bethlehem in Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means 